say holiday rambler vacationer this is what we travel in got two slides on it's a 2002 workhorse chassis um, only got about 50 what's it got about 51,000 miles on it so it's pretty or no not even it's 36 I'm confusing it with my car about 36,000 so it's in good shape had to have a few things done on it when I got it no big deal had an oil leak what to do kind of dealt with I mean, all the stickers are in pretty good shape it's coming around the other side got a slide out in the rear so it's got a total of two slide outs pretty self-explanatory a lot of compartment storage here which is always a plus as you can tell by that we have a washer and dryer we'll go inside in just a minute we're actually gonna I'm gonna replace that shortly it kind of rotted with the Sun that was actually a big reason I just had this thing detailed waxed buffed all that good stuff and a lot of it's because of the um, you know it, it's got this light white color on a good chunk of it so it holds up okay to the Sun but at the same time it does start to oxidize a little bit with all the UV so we actually just got all that buffed out and it looks like a million bucks now let's head on inside So, start out with the front. That's where Homie drives. And we got the TV up here. Now, the previous owner did replace it with a flat screen. We've got a sound bar and all things, so it sounds really nice. Heck of a lot better than our last rig. Electronic storage and all that. This is a really nice feature we didn't have in our last motorhome is the fact that you can pull this thing out and you got yourself a desk when you're driving, which is pretty sweet. And, uh, you know, if you're running the generator, you got electric and all that stuff down there. So it's kind of kind of handy. Got a little bit of, um, this is a dual pane window and this is pretty common. I'm actually, I got a guy uh, about 40 or 50 miles from here who can deal with that for me, but I haven't done it. But they start to fog up a little bit. They re uh, get a little bit of a problem with the seal. So, you know, whatever. Storage up here. This, by the way, is just, it's damp rid. Nice way to uh, do a little bit of dehumidification inside your motorhome when you don't have it hooked up to electric all the time. You know, there you go. But anyway, there's the, this is the recliner. Um, get a view from the rear with the slide out, out. So dining room, this is a uh, sleeper, my kid's toy there, but uh, you know, so my kids actually sleep on this. Dining room table will fold out if they need it. Uh, we haven't actually done so yet, but we, uh, but, you know, I said when the kids get bigger, we're good. Storage all along here. Storage here for food and kitchen stuff and all that. Over here, more of the same. We like this thing because it makes the uh, counter even bigger. My wife was a big lover of the kitchen design in this motorhome. One of the reasons we got it. Um, but we've got the, uh, our microwave, which is actually convection as well. Stove, fridge is a Norcold fridge. I actually just had to replace this handle because it came without one. And those are a joy to find on the internet, but we got it done. Moving on back. What the one little thing with the design of this motorhome I don't care for is the fact that when you're driving down the road and you fold in this slider, all these cabinets are blocked. Um, so, you know, it's not a real big deal, but we do need to, you know, if we're going to be eating while we go on the road, we need to plan ahead and move it out of this pantry. But let's move on back. So back here, we've got washer and dryer. I actually have not used it yet, but I've tested it. it. seems to work, but we haven't really used it in practice. But it's nice. A lot of storage up here for all the various things. Bathroom, medicine, hot guy, sort of. Um, got ourselves a shower here. Pretty tall, it's got the skylight right over it. Now, the um, bat, the toilet, pretty self explanatory. You know, I wasn't a big fan of the split design at first, but then, I, you know, because I, I wanted one that was all self contained. But the deal was, I found that it really limited my selection because so many of them come like this now. 
So, you know, it's and it's fine. I've gotten pretty used to it. The only problem is, like, if the kids and everybody are still awake and I want to take a shower, i got to close this door and it doesn't lock. So I basically have to get the kids to be like, hey, don't come in and cup of you or anything, you know. But so that's, that's really the only deal. Coming back to the back. So once again, the this is the, where um, we hang out. Uh, slide out is out right now, so you can kind of see what it looks like. This is a queen bed. You know, I wish it were bigger, but you know, it's pretty standard in RVs. Um, I wanted to get an actually a bigger mattress that, that's actually longer. The problem, and it would fit with the slide out out. The problem is when the slide out comes all the way in, this mattress basically mashes right up against the cabinet. So I don't have room for anything longer than this. I could technically, see, because there's a gap there, I could fit a little wider mattress in here, but but I'd have to basically get it custom made, which costs a lot of money, and so I probably won't bother. So anyway, a lot of uh, TV here. It's bungeed in, so it doesn't swing around when we're moving down the road. A lot of storage in here. I don't know how well you can see that, but we have a lot. And, and this is nice because I do run my business from the road when we're out. And so I actually have the ability to work back here and shut these doors and have a little bit of privacy, have a little bit of an office in the RV. So this RV is a big improvement over the one we had. The one we had before was a Coachman product um, and it had no slide outs or anything. It was missing a lot of the niceties. This one basically has everything that we wanted to get that we didn't have in the Coachman. And it's just also a lot better build quality. Um, Holiday Rambler, I've heard some rumors that, you know, as they've gotten newer, the quality levels drop, and then this 2002 model, this thing's built really well. I can do everything solid, and I intend to take good care of my stuff anyway, so it should serve us for quite some time.